I want to mention that uh, SmackDown's main event segment was awesome. And uh, Raw's main event segment was great. But the thing with the two shows, I don't know if it was just this week, but golly. It was not nearly as stupid as 2019, but these felt like 2019 shows. It was just two-minute match, two-minute match, two-minute match, two-minute match. And they've been doing, like, long matches on TV of late. Ever since Hunter took over, it's, like, a lot more long matches. I don't know what the hell happened here the last two days, but, I mean, just nothing happening. SmackDown was just one two-minute segment after another. Well, the whole thing with SmackDown, one of the big problems is, you know, they're— don't take it for granted that everybody is just waiting to see what happens with Jay, Jimmy, Roman, and, you know, any combination of those guys. Like, you cannot just take, okay, we're going to get 2 million people because they love this storyline, and you just keep feeding them garbage. I mean, at some point, they're going to regurgitate that. Well, the main event angle on SmackDown was Roman and Solo and Heyman coming out, and then Jay had to come out to make his decision. And long story short, Roman tried to convince him that, you know, you're going to be the tribal chief someday. And I know you don't like Paul Heyman, but he's my wise man. When you're the tribal chief, you can pick your own wise man. And he did, he threw out the big line, which is, do you know who the only person was that was upset when I made you the right-hand man? It was your brother, Jimmy. He was the only one upset about it. And so Jimmy came out, and Jay wanted to know if it was true. And Jimmy said, yeah, it is true. And at that point, Jay cut, bro, this guy cut the best promo. He cut a fabulous promo on his brother. And finally, at the end, he concluded that, you know, all of this was because of Roman. So, Jimmy, you're out. But I'm out, too. And he super kicked Roman Reigns, and this place came unglued. And then, you know, as I mentioned on the Dave show, this Roman Reigns, whatever you want to say about this guy, it was his turn to sell for Jimmy and Jay. (laughs) And, bro, they hit this guy with a double super kick, and you've never seen a better bump for a double super kick. I mean, I don't know how this guy didn't go through the canvas. He took the hardest, fastest like, it was like he'd been shot by a like a war, nuclear Cannon warhead. <laughs> I mean, God, this guy bumped for these guys. And the place went crazy, and they announced over the weekend that Money in the Bank is Jimmy and Jay versus Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. That's the match. And uh, I thought this, this segment was just, like, every time they do a big one, like a big twist, it's a home run, and this one was a home run. It was great. And then your world-famous Raw report, which ain't going to take me a lot of time at all (laughs) because it was a 2019 show. Seth comes down to the ring. Tell me if this sounds familiar. He's issued an open challenge to anybody. Finn Balor comes out. Now, in real life, Finn Balor should accept the open challenge. He's the first guy out there. Do your open challenge. Whether you win or lose, you got another match at the pay-per-view. Who cares? No, instead he beats up. Seth Rollins, so Seth cannot do his open challenge. He destroys him for like five straight minutes. They go to commercial, they come back, he destroys him even more, and uh, and we don't get the open challenge. We do not get the advertised open challenge. And they do the whole show, talking about how the guy is injured, and then at the very end of the show, we have an interview with Seth, and he's like, yeah, you know, god damn that hurt, but I'm going to be there tomorrow. I don't care what these doctors say. I'm going to be there. I'm going to defend my title against Braun Breaker. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Actually, he didn't do his laugh. I actually thought he did a good promo because there was none of the character. It was just a serious promo, but it was ridiculous. But, yeah, it was absolutely ridiculous. And then Miz came out screaming about all of his problems. Now he wanted to accept the open challenge and give the people of Cleveland a winner. And uh, out comes Ciampa. And he attacks Miz. They do a... Two minute match, and Ciampa hits him with a fairy tale ending and pins him. This led to Finn and the Judgment Day coming out to do a promo. They're all going to win their matches at Money in the Bank. And then Dom's just getting totally booed out of the building. Now it's even better. Before it was like he'd start to talk and they'd boo. Now he just starts to bring the mic up and they start booing then. 
And so he challenges Cody to find two partners to face him tonight. We had a show long storyline, which is my my current second favorite storyline behind the uh, bloodline. Kevin is a is a hothead. <laughs> Sammy goes, you know. The interviewer wants to know about the bloodline breaking up, and Kevin's like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sick of talking about these guys. And Sammy's like, bro, it's a fair question. And you know what? I think we got to talk about this. It's just the two of us and Byron. No one else is around. Well, I think you're a rageaholic. And Kevin goes, oh, what? And so Sammy essentially says, dude, you got an anger problem. Kevin denies it. And Sammy says, okay. If you can go the whole show without blowing your stack, I will never bring it up again. But if you blow your stack on this show, we need to agree that you've got some sort of problem. Kevin says, all right, I got no problem. Now, like a Raw in 2019, we'd had no resolution. I mean, he kind of blew up, but he didn't. And then there was like, we went off the air with no nothing. So I guess we'll find out next week if Sammy's determined that he had a blow up or not. We had, now this was great. I don't know if this was Borash, but this was like the kind of creative thing that he would come up with. We had a series of Instagram videos. You know, someone swiping through their Instagram feed to the videos. And it's all Chelsea being a Karen. And, uh, and they were great. But then, of course, it led to Caden and Katana versus Sonya and Chelsea. And uh, it went two minutes. And the baby faces beat the Karen and Sonya. Cody came out for a promo in the aisle. He was asked, what about that six man later? He goes, I can find a couple of guys. Then they played his music. That was the whole segment. <laughs> also two minutes. It's like a rib at this point on me. Indu Cher versus Shelton and Cedric. Two minutes. Sammy and Kevin are backstage. Kevin's fixing to blow because, you know, first some guy spills water on him. He eats water on him. And then they run into Riddle who's just being a gimmick. But Kevin controls himself. And then we had, this was a classic 2019 segment. Logan Paul's in the ring sitting on a ladder. He is from Cleveland, which is where the show is at. He begins his promo talking about how great Cleveland is. Then he switches to saying, you know, it's, it's been, my life's been great ever since I left. I got out of here. I went and became famous. I don't have to sit through these cold-ass winters you, you people have to suffer through. Total heel promo. And then he goes, but... A lot of Clevelanders have failed of late, but that changes tonight. I will be going to Money in the Bank. I will win that briefcase. I will cash in. I will win this championship for Cleveland, and I'm going to come back here and throw back some shots, and we're going to go crazy. Are you a baby face? Are you a heel? Or are you, as Kevin said later, I don't have an anger problem. I have an idiot problem. What are you, bro? And then everybody in the Money in the Bank came out, and they all bowed to win, and then it was a brawl, and then he climbed up and he sat with the briefcase. Matt Riddle, Ludwig Kaiser. Thank God we finally got a match that went more than two minutes, and it was good. And they had some counters at the end of this match that were flat-out awesome that I've never seen before. Like, Riddle tried to do something off the middle rope. I think it was like, I don't know what it was, but he got caught in midair, and Kaiser caught him while spinning and then did a rolling fireman's carry. I never saw that before. Corey didn't even know what it was. And then we had another awesome one where Kaiser goes for the elbow off the ropes, and he gets Germaned out of midair on that one, and then Bro Derek one, two, three, and then uh, the heels destroyed his leg to get revenge for uh, him breaking the leg of Baldy as they call Giovanni him. Vinci. Very oh, which, by the way, is he legitimately injured? I guess it is. I have been told he's not, but hmm. that doesn't mean he isn't because they're very secretive with that sort of thing. But the belief backstage is that he's actually, it's just an angle. We had uh, Kevin and Sammy getting a text. They blew off Imperium. We got footage of the Alpha Academy trying to teach Maxine how to do a suplex. This led to Viking Raiders versus Alpha Academy. Last week, they did this match. And Valhalla tried to interfere. Maxine hit her with a move, and that led to Alpha Academy winning. It felt like, my God, they're going to do something with these guys. They do the same thing this week. Valhalla goes to do something. Maxine pulls her off the apron, hits her with the big suplex. Everybody pops. But this time, Chad is distracted, hit with a knee and pinned. Your classic 2019 50-50 booking. I was like, God, I'm, I'm hating this show. Rhea was supposed to wrestle Natty. 
They did the exact same angle they did in the opener. Yeah, what was this? Where Rhea beat her up and we had no match. Twice on the same show. This show is a classic example of when I say that things are better now. People go, nope, they're exactly the same. No, they're not. Because this was clearly, clearly the way it used to be. And not the way it's been for the past 10 months or whatever. Cody met with Tazawa. Tazawa wants to be his partner. He says he'll think about it, but then Kevin and Sammy show up, and they're going to be the partners. Trish and Raquel, this is a qualifier for Money in the Bank. Becky runs in. She goes after Zoe. Trish goes after her, but Becky attacks Trish. She's DQ'd. Trish qualifies for Money in the Bank via DQ. The show has not been exactly the same. The show has been way better, and this is what it used to be. Braun Breaker doing a promo, talking about uh, the match at uh, NXT. Bronson Reed, Shinsuke Nakamura. Bronson won. Ricochet was at ringside. They're doing the three-way thing. Ricochet got involved. Uh, distraction led to Nakamura getting German and then Tsunami for the pin. It's a good match, nine minutes. And then after the Seth promo, we had Finn, Dom, and Priest. Versus Cody, Sammy, and Kevin. Excellent main event. They got time. Everybody looked good. Everybody was uh, hitting all their big spots. And then at the end, everybody hit a finish on Dom. He bailed outside. Cody hit the crossroads on Priest, pinned him. Finn is not happy with Damian Priest. Damian Priest is doing a lot of jobs. And this is all leading to Damian Priest splitting and going babyface down the road. So last hour saved the show. First two hours, just, it sucked. It sucked. And granted, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate wow. you, Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow. Look oh, at that, everybody. Wow. Holy smokes. That qualifies. That's Prefer to hold it by thing. the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, they say that Washington is a hot spot for UFOs. Is there any connection between aliens and Bigfoot? The animals are aliens. What? So you're telling me that my cat is from another planet? Yes. Due to Brian's birthday, Brian versus Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy looked a foot taller than Brian. He's not a foot taller than me. God. He's not the big poopy hair. He's, he's maybe. What is that noise? This was sure. with you and Vinny against uh, Chris Dreisack and Ideal Mexican. 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 Yeah. Yes. Brian pulled uh, Chris's panties down in the back. Yeah. His panties. <laughs> yeah, he saw his Dreisack. S A J W N G A W If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.